Today I'm going to do a little short video on the rising of pH and why is my pH always high because of a spa. When, you're, um, when you use your spa, the aeration, I'm going to use this right here as an example to show you um, the rising pH. And you'll see for yourself that how off gassing carbon dioxide from the water will raise your pH. We're going to use a, a digital meter find out what the pH is in this water right now. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and redo this because I noticed it was kind of hard to see in the um, outdoors with the glare on the uh, on the digital meter so I'm gonna go ahead and redo this again this is off gassing CO2 this is what a spa would do or waterfall or um, any kind of a water feature um, aiming your returns up to the top um, anything that's going to aerate the water but a spa is going to do it a lot faster than a waterfall would. Muriatic acid, when it finally breaks down and does its all chemical stuff, it finally converts down to basically um, CO2, carbon dioxide, and that's why your pH goes down. Um, so again, here we go now. We're at a, um, this is tap water. This is 7.9 on the tap water. So let's go ahead and uh, aerate this water again. So the more you, the more you aerate, the faster it goes up. Eight point one, eight point four. How fast it's starting to rise now? All because you're aerating that water. You're getting rid of that carbon dioxide advantage now. And the way you would do that is if you have a situation where you have a high alkalinity in your pool, um, you can knock down that alkalinity pretty darn good and just hit that spa and turn it on and let it run for about six hours and that'll bring your pH back up. Um, a good example of that is um, I got a Pebble Tech pool, a brand new pool, but they left a lot of the acid in the, in the pool when, after they did their acid wash. My tap water was 150 alkalinity, and the uh, pH was 7.7. Now, when I went there the following day after they uh, filled the pool to take some readings of it, um, my uh, um, alkalinity was 100, and my pH was 6.8. Uh, so that just told me they obviously didn't take a lot of the acid out of that pool when they took um, they did the acid wash. Now, all I did was um, ran that spa for about six hours and brought my pH back up to um, 7.6. So you can use that in your advantage. But again, it's um, if you have people that love their spas and you always go in there, oh, my pH is 8.2, 8.3, oh my God, you know, what am I going to do? There's nothing you can do. The only thing you can do is knock it down um, and keep knocking it down. But don't knock it down too much where it's going to affect your... Um, your uh, alkalinity a whole lot either because the alkalinity will go down a little bit too with the acid that you put in but that usually comes back up my pools I usually have around 100 and um, and I don't really um, and it, uh, they always sit about 100 they they don't really go down they might go down a little bit but they come back up because they're always testing 100 um, and that's what I like in my pools now uh, now in a pool when you have a, um, a, a 7 point um, 7.8 pH and you want to bring it down to uh, 7.5 that's 14 ounces of acid in a 10,000 gallon pool now if you have a 8.0 pH and you want to bring it down to 7.5 that's 21 ounces of acid in a um, 10,000 gallon pool and 8.2 pH to 7.5 is 27.5 ounces of acid Okay, now here's how we figure that out in a 14,000 gallon pool. If you watch the Google uh, Maps to gallons, um, you'll know how to do this. Basically, a 14,000 gallon pool would be 1.4. And then, if you want to bring it down 8.0 to 7.5, that's 21 ounces per 10,000 gallons. So we got a 14,000 gallon pool times or 21 ounces. We need 29.4 ounces in that pool to bring our pH down from 8.0 to, um, to 7.5. Now, 
if we have an 8.2 pH, um, that's going to be 27.5 ounces of acid in a 10,000 gallon pool. So let's go again, 1.4 times our 27.5 ounces. Now we need 38 ounces of acid in that pool to bring that down from 8.2 um, to 7.5. And that's how you basically figure that out. Um, in any pool, like um, a, a 25,000 gallon pool, it would be 2.5 times our 21 ounces of acid for 8.0 to 7.5. And we need 52 ounces in that pool to bring that pool down, um, to bring that acid down, I mean, uh, the pH down um, from 8.0 to 7.5. So that's basically how you do that. And that way you don't over um, acid yourself. You don't over acid yourself and then have to um, bring your alkalinity back up because you keep pouring too much acid into the pool. Um, and that's not a good thing either. Um, but these figures, they work really good. Once you do them, you get to know them and you just pour in the acid that you need. And because um, I know my pools, it's, um, I like to keep my alkalinities around 100. And, um, and when I go to the pools all the time, they're always at 100. They never go down. Sometimes for some, they, they go up to 120 or 110. Um, for who knows why, but the, the pH is um, always pretty uh, stable and uh, goes up to like 8.0, 8.1 in the people that really use their spas. Um, so, and then you, then you have pools that where well, there are no spas and, you know, everything's always pretty stable on that because you're not really off gas and CO2 in those pools. So you kind of like wonder, well, why is this pool um, good, but this pool always has 8.0, 8.1. And another thing that you might want to check is um, the, um, your tap water. If, if, you, uh, if you have a pool with no spa and you're always having a high pH on that, or your alkalinity goes up, because um, sometimes it could be the tap water too. Um, a couple of tap waters that I check when my pH kept going up, my alkalinity kept going up 10 every week. Every week it would go up. So I finally checked the guy's tap water. In about two weeks, I checked his tap water. He was a 210 alkalinity on his tap water and 8.1 pH. Well, that's why all, everything kept going up. So again, um, if you have any questions, um, please comment down below. Um, and please like the video, share the video, and uh, give me a thumbs up if you found this information uh, useful.